extra. So what are you going to do now? You going to look for something else in real estate? He's hiring now. The market's terrible. So what are you going to do? <laughs> I like sports. I could do something in sports. Uh huh. Uh huh. In what capacity? You know, like the general manager of a baseball team. <laughs> Yeah, well, that, that can be tough to get. Well, it doesn't even have to be the general manager. Maybe I could be like an announcer, like a color man. You know how I always make those interesting comments during the game? Yeah, yeah, you make good comments. So what about that? Well, you know, they tend to give those jobs to ex-ball players and people that are, you know, in broadcasting. <laughs> Well, that's really not fair. I know. Well, okay, okay. What else do you like? Movies. I like to watch movies. Yeah, yeah. Do they pay people to watch movies? Projectionists. That's true. But you gotta know how to work the projector. Right. And it's probably a union thing. Those unions. Okay, sports, movies. What about a talk show host? Talk show host, that's good. I, th I think I'd be good at that. I talk to people all the time. Someone even told me once they thought I'd be a good talk show host. Really? Yeah, a couple of people. <laughs> How do you get that, though? Where do you start? Well, that's where it gets tricky. <laughs> I can't just walk into a building and say, I want to be a talk show host. I wouldn't think so. <laughs> it's all politics. All right, okay. Sports, movies, talk show hosts. What else? This could have been a huge mistake. Good morning, and welcome to this week's edition of Coffee with a Coach. The video clip that you just saw from Seinfeld uh, was really inspired by a letter that I got this past week just after the last clip we saw about the Karate Kid and how do you breathe positive information into somebody. So this is the email that I got. It says, Hi Malcolm, glad you wrote about self-fulfilling prophecies this week as I've been struggling with it with my dad's employees. And uh, she says she's actually working in her dad's business in Hong Kong. And she says, I get the idea, but what can you do to change negative preconceptions about others? Can you really just start believing in someone whom you deep down think doesn't have much potential. Hope all well with you. You know, that's a great question. And when I did talk about the self-fulfilling prophecies, what I hope I didn't say was that everybody out there has potential to do every single thing. You know, there are some people that are gifted for certain things and others uh, are just probably bad fits for it. I heard a story a long time about, ago about a kid that really, really wanted to sing in the school's chorus but had a horrible voice. He wanted to sing, but he also just wanted to perform. His very wise music teacher took him aside and realized that he actually didn't have a talent at all for singing, but he did have a talent for music. He got the kid lessons on how to play the clarinet, and pretty soon the kid took to it very naturally, was able to perform with the chorus, but with a musical instrument. So the lesson here is, and what you saw from George, is that you've got to be honest with folks. If they really don't have the talent for something, and really don't have the potential to be able to learn that talent because some things do come natural, you really have a responsibility to help guide them to something else. I truly believe everybody on this planet is an expert at something. It's just that some people have never had the opportunity to find out what that thing is. Get to know people, ask them important questions. Maybe you have them do some assessments. I tend to use Myers-Briggs when I do my workshops, but there's a host of other assessments. It's about finding what talent you're naturally gifted to do and be pushed into that particular direction. Just giving somebody positive feedback is not enough to get them there if they don't have the talent. So this week, scope your people out. Take a look and see who's got a natural talent for something that maybe they've never realized before. Have that conversation, and they will thank you for the rest of their lives. Well, that's it for this week's edition of Coffee with a Coach. If you have a question, you can email it to me directly, just like she did, and that is coach at contactmycoach.com, or you can go to askthecoachrightnow.com website and you can upload your question there. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next week on 
Cut.